Hello everyone, and it's me, Rillin, finally back on the Minecraft, uh, Pickaholic server. Uh, to record the framerate dying. To record, uh, me building Frank Lloyd Wright's home and studio. I was planning on recording this yesterday, uh, late at night, but, uh, started playing on the Attack of the B-Team server we have going, which, depending on how well... I can record on that, I might release an episode, and then I end up playing for 10 hours. Uh, in any case, the thing behind me is not what you're interested in, it's the thing in front of me. Uh, so here is the house, as it is done so far. I have to replace a bunch of the wood, uh, but with a little bit of magic, we can, bam! Show what the house will look like after it's done. Uh, this will be a bit of a pain in the butt to build with, uh, but let me just give you a quick summary and rundown of how this works. Uh, let me get out of F, uh, F1 mode. Okay, uh, so this is a program called uh, Schematic. I don't remember. It's uh, some some sort of schematic. A style program. Uh, that is un unimportant. Uh, what is important is that it lets me do stuff like this. So, I've built this in creative mode. And I've replaced most of this wood, so I'm gonna have to uh, fix that. Uh, but this allows me to go layer by layer. And uh, we're probably gonna go down one, because I know I have a bunch of this not finished. Uh, but anyway, it lets you go layer by layer, uh, and it's better than, you know, me constantly having to look at a picture and make sure it's this and this and that and everything else. Uh, so that's that. I uh, will probably not finish recording this today. I'm only planning on recording for about an hour, as sitting like this is horrible on my back. Also, one of the big reasons I've been recording is Attack of the B-Team, as I stated earlier. And Dark Souls. I watched. I started watching someone play Dark Souls level one run, and I decided, hey, why don't I try that? And I did, and I've gotten past uh, Smog and Ornstein, or whatever their freaking name is. And I'm uh, trying to get Philip the Lord Vessel. Anyway, unimportant. All of that is. Um, I'm going to get. I'm make sure I have the materials in my inventory. I'm gonna have to get used to not being able to hit R to auto sort my inventory. Or auto sort these chests. Uh, anyway, this is all unimportant once again. Uh, I'm also probably going to mess around on the server a bit. Uh, there is a tree over there. It is not loaded in. That is immaterial. Uh, anyway, I've wasted enough of your time. Uh, so I'm going to stop recording and start recording again uh, so I can mess with these uh, video files easier. Uh, so I'll see you in a second.
Okay, everyone, we're back from the building. Yay! Um, so this video has taken probably a week to record off and on. I did the intro, and then I recorded about an hour, and then I waited a couple days and recorded another hour or so, and I had to get materials in between that, and then this was recorded about three or four days after that. I've been, uh, playing video games with, uh, uh, AJ at his house, and just hanging out in general, and, uh, uh in any case, we are done with the building. Oop. Wow, that was weird. I need to get a mouse pad or something for this. So, uh, as you can see, clearly it's done. Oh, also, um, in between the time of me finishing building the house and this recording, we updated the server to 1.9, so now I can't show you uh, what the overlay looks like. Which is fine, because it's done. Uh, so one of the first things you'll notice, other than it being done, is that I've changed... Wow, frame break drop. I've changed this out, uh, so that uh, you can actually look over it, so these are now half slabs, uh, which I think in the end looks better. I don't know, tell me what you think. I think it it not only looks better, but it also helps this so that there's uh, no block blocking the window anymore. Uh, in any case, well, let's go inside, and this is the entryway to the house. Uh, so. So here we go. I just put up these signs right before I started recording because I wasn't certain if I could remember what the heck this is. Uh, so this... Oh, excuse me. Are there hiccups or something? Uh, so this is the living room. Uh, this is a padded, like, chair. I haven't put the carpet down on it. I also had a huge problem building some of this stuff, as you'll see in the video, because the overlay... Uh, worked, but I think when I was uh, when I was um, originally building this, I was trying to conserve on materials, so a lot of stuff was half slabs, so I couldn't figure out which block was which. Uh, this floor is different from the final design, the design that I built uh, in creative mode. In any case, uh, starting with the living room, there is this uh, pattern in the ceiling with five lights. Um, I haven't furnished out any of this yet. I'm also going to probably change these, uh, switches, uh, so that they don't look <laughs> as odd. Uh, and here's the fireplace. I haven't put the... Oops. I haven't put a sign here, well, with the motto that goes there yet. Uh, and then we come over here, and we're in the dining room. And you can look out this big window over here. And then there's a door which leads onto the veranda or the porch. Uh, going through here, I'm not entirely certain what this is. Uh, it doesn't say on the plans. It just c connects between the two of these. Um, but then we come this way, and then there's a kitchen, and I haven't uh, outfitted a lot of this stuff either. Uh, partially because it's really, really really hard to find pictures of the house when it was still in, when it was in this state. So I don't know how accurate some of the roofs are or the ceilings are at this point. And then there's a back door here and there's one right here. And this one I just added because I was looking at the plants again. Man, I miss Optifine. Uh, so now we go upstairs. Let's see if I can change one setting. Controls, sensitivity down to about 70-ish. Should help. Uh, so, first, we're in the studio. Oh, that's where the bed was. Uh, so, this was originally his studio. Uh, there's a big... You can see there's a big window that looks out on the street. Uh, and then, a intricate pattern in the roof. These... Uh, lines, uh, different colored lines, you know, like the pattern that you see here is used often in certain parts of the house. Um, there are cabinets of sorts here, 
I don't know if they were originally there, but they're definitely here when this is changed into the children's room. After he has a couple of kids. Which is the second expansion on the house. He had a bunch of kids. And then he changed the studio into the children's room. And he added an entire section onto the house. Um, if we come through here, there's a closet, which I need to change the wood floor coloring to make sure it's there. And here we have the master bedroom. Uh, as you can see up here, it has the same pattern. And it also has a little balcony to go out and look at stuff. I need to take down some of these trees so you can get a better view. Uh, and then you can go through here, and there's a closet with a nice view to the back as well, which I thought was kind of nice to look at. Uh, and then you can come through here, and we're in a bathroom with the, the tub, this, and uh, this is the chimney. Uh, just a second. Sorry, I got a bit of a stuffy nose. Don't want to get that in the recording. Anyway, this is the chimney that goes um, from the fireplace all the way to the roof. Uh, when I was originally designing this, I didn't know where the chimney was, and it turns out that the chimney I designed later was four blocks. So if I were to redo this design, I'd start with the fireplace, probably make a bit of uh, some of the house a little bit larger. Or just compromise with this. I don't know. And then uh, finally we come in here and we're in the nursery. So this is the nursery where his, you know, wife and child did their nursery stuff. I don't know. Uh, it also has the stripe down the center, which is, you know, similar again to all the other stripes. And then there's another, a, uh, another window in the closet so you can look out to the side. And uh, you can notice a bit of the coloring. I haven't really mentioned that, but uh, I was trying to go for like a stripe look, so all of these are half slabs everywhere. Uh, you can see uh, down here as well. There's a half slab, <laughs> half slabs up here, and then the white. So you can see that was done. Um, and that's pretty much it for the tour. I need to add furniture and stuff to this, but I am glad I am done. Quite honestly, it has been a long, long, long trip to this to be done since this was the first project I was planning on building on the server, which is uh, kind of sad since this has been the new server for a while. That I think I was starting to, I think I started the project at uh, 1.6. So yeah. Anyway. Um, that is pretty much all the building. Oh, actually, there was one thing else I wanted to show. Not surprised I forgot since, uh... This is the one I thought about. So, here is the, uh... I also didn't show this. This is a, like, a pattern on the wall there. But, uh, this is where the chimney is. It goes up through here, I think. No, I still have to make iron bars to put right here. Uh, but there's also another window up here, which lets you look out. And there is a little clove, or, like, opening here for heat or something. I don't know much about thermal design in houses from the late 19th century. Okay, so let's go back outside and take one more look at the house. Let's, uh, go back around here. Since I have to go through the house to get to the back. Um, there's also a basement, which I guess I didn't show much of. I haven't fleshed that out yet. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what the basement was like. Wow. There we go. Yeah, the frame rate lags super hardcore right now. So I need to change the view distance or something. So there's a... Uh, this is supposed to go down into the basement. Um, I believe they washed clothing down there and then hung the stuff out to dry up here. This still exists, to my knowledge, in the full version of the house. Uh, I believe the way to get down here is over here now. I'm not entirely certain on that since I haven't been to Oak Park 
personally to check out the house. That's something I want to do in the future. Take tons of pictures, get a much better architectural design of the house. But, uh, let's see, do I have... I do have some wood in my inventory. So, one last look. Let's go up here. Got a good view on the house here. So, you can see the chimney up there. Uh, the roofs that interconnect. That uh, look a lot smaller than they actually are at the distance between the roof and the back. And here is quite a bit larger than it looks. And she gets a little porch. It doesn't look too bad, like height-wise. And you got the flower bases, and then you got a sidewalk that goes out towards uh, AJ's house and the town. Oh, and then you can see in the distance, if I turn the camera like this, what the tree is. This is probably going to be my next big project on the server. Um, I plan on building more on this probably today. That's certain. Editing a video shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> but anyway, I've rambled on way, way longer than I should have. Um, this has been Rillin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to go into my creative world and uh, modify the uh, the fall <laughs> Modify Frank Lloyd Wright's Home and Studio Part 1 um, so it matches this better and then uh, save it as a schematic file and then upload it to like Mediafire and uh, give you a download so that you can go into uh, you can go into MC Edit and uh, put it in your uh, own world and take a look at what it looks like and all that other stuff anyway uh, this has been Rillin. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, and I will see you next time.